Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So today we're going to be talking all about faction edging and how it can help you in the Taken King. So as you all know, or at least you probably should know, um, the actual faction packages in the Taken King are going to be way better as in your guaranteed legendaries from them. So they're always going to be worth it and the um, chance of shaders and ships dropping has been increased as well. So even better reason, however, factions are changing. So if you want to be with Dead Orbit, for instance, you would have to pledge allegiance. So when you approach them, a thing would pop up on the screen saying pledge allegiance. And if you pledge allegiance, you cannot change from them for an entire week. It also costs some resources as well. So you've got to choose wisely, or at least if you don't play the game that much, because if you pledge with Dead Orbit and you've got like a faction edged with a different like faction and you want to get that stuff, then you can't until the week after the Taken King drops. So with faction edging, it's a little bit different. I wouldn't suggest edging every single faction on your list. Let's just go through them now. I wouldn't suggest edging New Monarchy, Future War Court and Dead Orbit. I'd only suggest doing one on each character though. I'd suggest doing Future War Court on one, Dead Orbit on another, and New Monarchy on another one. Now, the reason for this is, as I just said, you can only pledge to one allegiance at a time, or one faction at a time. So, I've chosen New Monarchy, as you can obviously see here. I only need literally 4 XP to level it up, which is really risky. All I have to do is accidentally get some New Monarchy reputation. Um, but obviously, with that, that's not the end of it. So, obviously, there is something else called the Vanguard and the Crucible, and even the Cryptarch. You can edge all three of these as well, and that will help you in your journey to getting some new legendaries, because they will also be dropping legendaries as well. Now, another perk to these is you get legendary marks from dismantling gear. So if you do get gear that you do not want from these packages, then you can just dismantle it and get some cheap little legendary marks, which you can use to buy some better gear. I will be talking about legendary marks in another video, so I won't go too much into that right now. But there's a few other things you need to learn as well. Like in the Taken King, I, mean, I know that you have to pledge allegiance, which some people I've heard don't like the fact that you have to pledge allegiance. I actually really like it. It goes in well with the lore of the game, goes in with the story. Um, and also it means that you can use whatever class item you want without compromising your style. So I can wear this cape that I'm wearing now and still be gaining new monarchy rep just because I've pledged allegiance to them. I don't know if they'll still have like the capes and stuff what they have um, in this expansion. I actually can't remember if I saw any in any of the reveals. Um, it rings a bell. I think I saw a new monarchy cape, but even then... Um, all the capes that they will be selling will be given more like um, bonuses rather than actual um, reputation. So that's actually awesome. I actually really, really like this change um, but you have to unlock the faction to actually buy anything from them. So that is the video, everybody. It's just another short one about Taking King preparation. Um, I will be mixing things up a little bit in the final week towards Taking King as there's not much else to talk about in terms of reputation gains and... Um, getting like marks, legendary marks and stuff like that. There's not that much to talk about with Taking King because we don't know that much. Um, as I'm recording this right now, it's actually the um, last live stream that Bungie are doing um, tonight. So after that, things may change. So hopefully I'll have some more video ideas after that stream pops up. But if you do have any other ideas, please do drop them in the description below. And while you're there, like and subscribe. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, Guardians.